Hey, how you doing? Have you used Elemental Pro's gallery? I'm not talking about the free gallery that you get with Elemental Free or the WordPress one. I'm talking about the Elemental Pro one where you have the masonry and the justified effects. They're brilliant and it's so cool how you can have multiple or single galleries with a bit of a filter button. Super, super cool. But there is a limitation. Every image you have in there, you can only ever have one link for the entire gallery. So if you enable a link on there, it will go to one place no matter what image you pick. But what if you want to have an individual link per image? Because it might be images of your portfolio work, like your website or case studies or your business, like you're showcasing architecture or some form of clothing or stuff like that. You know, you might be a wedding photographer, right? So you want the link to go to a certain location. Now, it's dead easy to do this, believe it or not, thanks to Maxime and his Element How website. Now, if you want to get the code for what I'm going to show you, you've got to go to the link over here in the video, I'm going to show you how you very easily apply his code. Now, the code for this is going to basically allow you to add a link per image. And when you see how easy this is, you're just going to go, what was that it? Let's just go over to a page and we're going to type in gallery, gallery if I can spell it. And it's this one over here, which is the gallery. It doesn't even say pro gallery, by the way. You don't want the basic gallery and we don't want the WordPress one. We're after the Elemental Pro one. We're going to drop that in. And I am very quickly just going to add in three images. OK, I'm not I'm not overthinking this too much. Just three basic images like that. And we're going to create a gallery. Now, what I'm going to do, you would do a few more steps if you had like 20, 30 images. But when you see what you do, it is simple. It is easy. We have three images and I'm going to insert that as the gallery. OK, so there we have our gallery. Don't worry about the spacing and the layout. That's not what I'm focusing on here. Now, you'll notice at the bottom over here. I mean, look, remember what I said about the grid. You could have justified, you could have masonry effect. It's going to make very little difference here because all the images are exactly the same size. So we won't worry about that. And, like you know, like, look, uh, you know, let's just put it onto three for now. Now, here's where we have the link. Now, if you do a media file, OK, it's just going to go to the media file, which we don't really want. If you go to a custom URL, it will only ever go to one URL. Again, we don't want that. What I'm going to do is just set the link to be none for now, because there is a bit of that in the code. It will actually take you to where you want it to go. Trust me on this one. Let's leave it as full for now like that. OK, it's going to hit update. OK, because I'm not messing around with the layout or anything like that. Here's the key bit, the page where you have your gallery. You then need to put in a HTML uh, snippet, not snippet, widget. And I would say just drop it above wherever you've got your gallery. Then I would go into it, make sure you're in it, and I would then paste this code. Now, this code you can get from Elements How. Go to Maxime, right? The link is there. You can't miss it, OK? But all you've got to do, this is the really cool bit, OK? Down, I forgot where it was then. Down here, where it literally says, edit the links here, this is where you put in your link. So I have, for these three images, put in a link to Web Squadron, our website, to elemental.com, and I've done to bats.work. That's another one of our websites where we take, um, uh, where we design websites as well. So I've now put them in there. I haven't put them on the images. I've just put them in order of the images. So if you had 10 images and you got 10 links, Put them in order of how they appear. So don't click random order. Make sure you've thought about the ordering of your images, OK? And then we hit update. And that was it. You do your gallery, put your images in, put this code in, and then just pop your link in. And if you wanted to add another link in, so you've got a fourth image, you would do a comma and then just repeat what you have above in apostrophes HTTPS or HTTP if you've got a not secure website and stick your details in. Just make sure the last one does not have a comma and you can replicate what I've got here or have a look at Maxim's code there. Again, let us update. Now let us do preview changes. So as I hover over this, OK, if I was to now click on this middle one, it takes me to Elementor.com. Now the page for the, where we just clicked is still there because within Maxim's code and I've already applied it, every link will open in a new window. Right. So when they close this window down, they're back where they were. They don't have to hit the back button. This will take you to Web Squadron. Well, hey, and the last link will take you them to our other website. There we go. Hey, entrepreneur, why are you here? Let me guess. Yeah, it's just you know words. 
So just by applying some really simple code, we are able to now have a pro gallery with individual links per image. Hey Maxine, you know you're cool. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.